Too many amazing women try hard to hide certain traits they see as flaws because they think it will make them more likable and prevent them from being rejected. But what if I told you those very things you're hiding are what great men actually feel attracted to and love about you? In this video, I'm gonna share with you five things you might be hiding that men are secretly drawn to so you can start letting these parts of you shine and find better love much sooner. Many centuries ago, there was in Thailand a temple of the Golden Buddha. This is a beautiful statue made of gold that many generations of humans revered and loved. Now, in the 1700s, word came to town that the Burmese army was coming to invade. So the monks hastily covered the Golden Buddha with clay and mud and branches to make it seem less exciting, less magnificent. When the army came in, the Golden Buddha Buddha was no longer a golden Buddha, it was a clay Buddha, and they didn't pay attention to it. They invaded for a few centuries, and when in the 1950s a monk was meditating close to this golden Buddha, saw a piece of the neck fall and reveal the magnificence and the splendor and the shininess of the gold inside of it. So they started chiseling the clay that was covering it and discovered this incredible, beautiful statue that people have forgotten was actually made of gold. Now, why am I sharing this? I'm sharing this because you, my dear, are the golden Buddha. There's been suffering and pain and there's been betrayals in your life. There's been disrespect and the parts of you that are brightest and most pure and most profound and most unique have been covered in mud, so to speak. Sometimes it takes the pain of something happening in life to have that part of you fall off and reveal the beautiful, vulnerable human that's inside. And the reason why this analogy is important is because I'm going to share with you certain traits that are really parts of your being that the right human being will see as an asset. The wrong human being will see as a flaw, as something that should be put away or run away from. Now, there's something that I want to introduce to you as a concept before I share what these five traits are, which is the concept of counterintuitive attraction. Intuitive attraction is if I do certain things, if I look a certain way, if I act the part, if I say the right things, I'll get the guy. Counterintuitive attraction is if if I express myself the way I really am, my uniqueness, my unapologetic uniqueness, when I express that, the right person will far more clearly, sharply see that I'm a match to him. And the person who is not a match to the truth of who I am will much more quickly self-disqualify. Now, the first flaw, and I'm saying flaw not because I think they're flaws, but because you might be thinking they're flaws, that men feel really drawn to is your imperfect body. And in no way am I implying this is your fault. If you are one of many women, I'd say majority of women, who think that there's something missing in your body that you don't match up, that that it's not beautiful enough, that it's not sexy enough, that it's not voluptuous or thin enough. It's not your fault because from the moment you were born, you've been seeing a very myopic and very limited vision of beauty in ads, in magazines, in movies, in billboards, and it started affecting the way you see yourself. Now, here's the truth. When you are the kind of woman who can embody unapologetically herself, who can express imperfect as you might be, your body in confidence, no Knowing that there's something so beautiful about the uniqueness you bring to the table, that the light that comes from the inside out is the most powerful part of your being, that every woman is different. I heard the other day a quote by Cindy Crawford talking about, even I don't look like Cindy Crawford when I wake up. We have this false idea of what beautiful is. And that extends to our bodies. And when you are someone who, instead of worrying about the five or 10 or even 20 extra pounds that are making you look different from the magazine, when you understand that the guy that you're looking for is someone who's going to see you and understand that the totality of you, including your imperfections, makes you different, makes you unique and gives him permission to also, by the way, not be perfect, then you're in a real conversation with someone who is there in flesh and bone, not looking at the fantasy Instagram version of reality, but looking at the truth of intimacy that can only be developed when two human beings express themselves, and that includes their bodies, in a way that's not perfect. Number two, your past mistakes. We all have a hidden fear of not being enough. I don't care how advanced you are spiritually or intellectually. We all have this insecurities because they're built into our DNA, because that's how we survive when we're children, and we've survived that way through millennia. Your past mistakes can be looked at as the thing that you feel regretful, remorseful, 
and ashamed of, or they can be the crack in that armor that revealed the truth of who you are and made you a stronger, a more connected, a more sensitive, a much more conscious human being without the mistakes or without the pain, you wouldn't be who you are. So when you become afraid of sharing your past from fear of judgment, you're ignoring two things. A, the guy you're connecting with has a past, has probably made plenty of mistakes just like you have. And number two, you can't get the diamond without the pressure that the forces of nature exerted on that coal. There's a lot of pressure that happens for a diamond to be as amazing and strong and beautiful and unique as it is. So expressing with the right timing, the truth of your past, not from a place of I'm flawed, but from a place of I'm strong. Martin Luther King says the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and man or woman in this case, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. The challenge and controversy, the pain that you've endured can make you, depending upon your level of consciousness and how you choose to do things, a much better human being. And he gets the benefit of the wisdom of that human being who's made mistakes. Mistakes could be looked at as flaws. They could also be looked at as the greatest teachers that we've ever had. Number three is your weirdness. Your weirdness is that thing that makes you different and unique. Maybe you like singing in the shower. Maybe you collect Smurfs. Maybe you're totally into sci-fi and you can recite the entire entire trilogy of Tolkien books forwards and backwards, whatever your uniqueness is, whatever your difference is, this is something to be proud of. This is something for the right person, for the right partner, make you more adorable, make you more unique, allow him to share some of his weirdness with you. And in this joint dance, be able to be free. One more thing on weirdness, this entire world you stand on right now, the computer you're watching or the phone you're watching through right now was made by weird human beings. Weird human beings move the world. So if you're one of them, enjoy it. And wave your flag. Now, before I share my last two points with you, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not aware of the root cause where you're still single. What I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life, every kind of challenge you can imagine, help them to create the best relationships of their lives, marriages and life partnerships. And I've learned a lot of things helping them. I put together a quiz with those learnings that can reveal to you in about 60 seconds, the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You'll see a page that looks like this, answer a few simple questions. And with in 60 seconds, you will have two things. The answer to the elusive question, why you're still single, and a custom report based on your unique blind spot that's going to share with you the one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. The fourth flaw you might be hiding that men need to see to continue connecting with you, to pursue you, is your messy dreams. Messy dreams are those dreams that you feel are too big and too scary to share with the world or too imperfect because you just started thinking about how to make them happen. You think that there's something wrong with you, perhaps because you haven't fully fleshed it out. Here's the truth. We're all a work in progress. We're all figuring ourselves out. We're all, as Ram Dass used to say, walking each other home. This is the world where we get a chance to dream. If you're one of those people who has dreams, that's courageous. And I'm not saying you should share your dreams with any stranger who can hear you. But when you create a connection with someone, when you develop trust, when you develop that shared feeling of this person's really in it for the right reasons, then to reveal as imperfect, as blueprintish as they might be, be the things you want, the things you dream about makes you more unique, makes you more courageous and makes you more beautiful. The last flaw you may be hiding. And I understand that there's certain people that you should hide them from. I'm not saying you should emotionally get naked with every single human being who gets in front of you. I'm saying that when you do find a connection and that connection is growing, you grow in stages and in stages you start revealing more and more of the truth of who you are. The fifth flaw is your emotional insecurities. And another way of saying this is your vulnerable heart, your vulnerable self. And this does a few things when you do share it with the right person. This allows him to see the truth of who you are. This activates in him a desire to add more value to your life. This activates in him a feeling of value from you because you're that human being that's rare, that's willing to be emotionally connected. This is something that allows him also to reveal and reciprocate his own insecurities so you get a chance to meet the real human being, not his Instagram version. The wrong person will hate you for this, will not want you to share insecurities, will think less of you. This is a litmus test. If you share more of the truth of who you are and the person in front of you doesn't like it, doesn't accept it, or worse, then you can close off, move off to somebody else and share the truth when the time is right.
Your imperfections make you special. Your imperfections make you unique. Stop trying to be like everybody else. Allow the true nature of who you are, step by step, one degree at a time, shine and connect with someone who embraces the free and unique and vulnerable version of you. I hope this is helpful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel because this is how I can grow and reach more women if you click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.